Child sex abuse is a worldwide problem. And as CBN Middle East Bureau Chief Chris Mitchell tells us, here in Jerusalem, the city is addressing this issue with a unique program, along with the help from some friends. This presentation to school children called Le Pet P in Hebrew, or Dare to Share in English, is the beginning of an outreach to Jerusalem schools. The program they're presenting to the children here today to prevent sexual abuse will go to all the schools here in Jerusalem, and they believe to different parts of the world. Shnor Walker and Ran Yehoshua developed this program seven years ago. We understand that an, uh, just an ounce of prevention can, is better than a whole pound of healing, of curing. And if we manage to create these child sexual abuse prevention programs and connect between children and parents and teachers and give them the tools and create an environment when predators are scared to abuse children, we can create a safer world for children. Yet too often, the world is not a safe place. Worldwide, data, different surveys state that one out of every five children are abused between the age of six and the age of 18. Not only in the short term, but in the long term, sexual abuse can have a devastating effect on personality of children. It says if the personality has a crack. What we do know is that after programs, we are told by the adults, the teachers, and the parents of the children that there is much more communication and discourse on the topic mm. that there hadn't been before. And sadly or happily, I'm not even sure where to put it, but cases do come out of abuses that have happened that might not have been exposed if the children hadn't gone through the program. Jerusalem Mayor Moshe Leon honored Dennis and Kayatami for making it possible for Dare to Share to reach all of Jerusalem's 75 schools. Their donation was made in the memory of their two sons, John and Jeff. We lost our children in a farm accident in 1981. John was 12 and Jeff was 11. And this is how we are touching other children in memory of them. And it is a very humbling experience for us. It's tearful. So this program of the music and the program of the sexual abuse that has been launched in memory of our children is an ongoing thing. And we are pleased to be here in Jerusalem to launch the program. And it's a great honor and it's a great humbling experience for us. We would like to uh, acknowledge one other person. You know, we're all partners in this. Um, but the way we found out was Schnorr's father. His name is Kalman Walker. He knew that Kay and I, our vision was to bless Israel. And so when he heard what the mayor's office was proposing, he sent an email to us. I read the email to Kay, and in five minutes, we sent back and said, Yes, that's us. Mayor Leon presented the Atomis with a certificate of appreciation. I understand that uh, this project is in memory of your two sons, John and Jeff. In a way, you are creating an everlasting bond with the children of Jerusalem. May their memories be a blessing. And I want to present to you this certificate of appreciation, naming you the guardians of the children of Jerusalem. All this program here in Jerusalem is thanks to Dennis and Kay Itami. Kay had a dream, like a prophecy. She understood that she wants to do good to the children of Jerusalem. And we approached them just as was possible for them and the municipality and them join together to do this program in Jerusalem. And we're thrilled because this is the opening shot. And we're going to be going into 75 elementary schools. And this is going to have impact on tens of thousands of children in Jerusalem, in the holy city of Jerusalem, with people from all sectors and I'm overcome with um, emotion. For the Atamis, it's a partnership they share with the people and the children of Jerusalem. So as we all move together, as we all move forward together, let us each and all be blessed by God and be a blessing ourselves. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Yefeinoff Elementary School, Jerusalem.